Hello everyone and welcome to episode 1 of Play Dead's Inside. In this episode, or in this series, we're going to play a game called Inside. Um, it's a side-scrolling platform with not very much dialogue, but it still tells a great story and the, just the kind of theme and atmosphere that the developers were able to make through this game is pretty awesome. So without any further pauses, let's roll in. All right. Again, there's no dialogue, so normally this, the settings pretty much tell the story. Uh, there's no explanations. The controls are very simple. It's just arrow keys and the right control button to grab or interact with things. Well, we're introduced to our main character, who is this uh, small boy with a red shirt. Who's in the middle of the woods for no reason. Very, it's a very gloomy color palette here. Okay. Right, so we can see some uh, pods or capsules on the back. A truckload of people, and I guess they're. I'm hiding from them, so they they're a threat. Definitely, we're gonna sneak by here real fast. Okay, so two gentlemen right there, wearing masks. I'm not sure if it ever explains why they're wearing masks. However, we are going to be pretty careful uh, to not get caught by them. So we'll run. An old refrigerator. Okay, I think I know where we... There it is. It's quite a drop. And there's a dog right there. I hear some barking off in the distance. Okay. Yeah, we're going to move this box um, down here to kind of use as a platform to, re to reach that ledge. Okay, there's that dog again. Made it. All right. Now these dogs will kill you. They, they're not really um, shy about showing your um, small character there get torn to bits. Moving along. Oh, nuts, there's that car again. I don't think they've spotted me yet. I think I may have to hide back here. Okay. Now, normally in games like this, where, is there, where there's absolutely no heads-up display, uh, no health bar, nothing like that, you usually have to look for different colors, and that will... Okay, I hear a door opening. I'll just sneak by real fast. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, 
All right, we're safe, sort of. Um, so definitely need to make it to the surface there. I don't think the dogs can chase us in water, if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we will. Um, I think I saw a wire down here. Okay, so there's a yellow wire. I'm gonna see if I can fall really fast. After all, what would a, a yellow wire be doing down here in the, um, the bottom of this pond here? Okay. Oh, okay, I think I know what this is. So those spheres, there's a number of them in the game. And if you find them all, there's a secret ending you can unlock. So I'll try to keep an eye out for yellow wire. Okay, that real low pitched humming stopped. Now a thing to be aware of is um, our character here does not have unlimited, you know, lung capacity. You'll notice him do a few of those hiccups and then he'll die or drown. I'll try to stay underwater for the most part. So that way our um, pursuer here won't find us. And here we are. Oh. All right, so there's a, a few dead pigs uh, next to this shore here. That's a bit unsettling. We'll cross this road real fast and uh, go from there. Okay. A beautifully rendered cornfield. Oh, my mistake. It appears there's a, a bunch of tiny little baby birds that um, kind of come to you. It just goes to show exactly how much um, the right color palette can really help to set the mood. A lot of gray, a lot of dark gray blue. That uh, fluorescent lighting really helps too. Another pile of dead pigs. Very nice. Okay. through here. So it looks like we'll have to leave our um, little bird friends behind there. Actually I can hear them against the door. Maybe I can open them up. Ah, here we go. We'll let them in. Out of the rain. All right. Nothing. Normally most things you can interact with are colored red. So another simple puzzle here, you'll notice that there's a giant hay cube at the top there, as well as a ledge we can't reach. Any self-respecting platformer will know that we need to get that cube down here and um, kind of um, use it to help us reach that platform. Oh boy, it seems like the chicks were also part of the problem, so uh, one became a casualty of our... things here, our actions. Still no more yellow wires, that's a little. Ah, speak of the devil, so another yellow wire. So somewhere in this container, in this house, there's probably another one of those spheres. Quite a drop. Mm, but all I see are some, some boards 
Can we interact? Yeah, we can interact with fish. So they're very, very um, clever with more pigs. There's a lot of pigs. They're very clever with um, the hidden rooms. There it is. We'll make our way down real fast. And we'll use this um, cart. Are those slugs sticking out of the pigs? There's giant slug worms, parasite worms sticking out of the pigs. Now there's more sticking out of the ground. I have to walk through this um, waste deep mud. Nice and easy. Quite a few dead pigs. I'm not sure what the parasites are, if they're the ones that caused these pigs to die, or what's going on there. Oh, never mind, one's alive. Oh, we'll just jump over it for now. I don't think there's anything you can do to attack it. Um. Oh, okay. A little bit further. Excellent. Still not high enough. Um. Oh, all right. So we got that slug out of it, out of the pig there, and it looks like we can interact with the pig. Move it like a platform. And there, it looks like there's folks in the back, and a, folk, uh, a person up top there as well. They're not moving though. Maybe this lamp will do some. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a. It appears to be some sort of mind control helmet. Oh. Oh, he's still alive. Can I? Okay. Oh, no. Maybe if I use all four folks to go to this platform here. So the controls are very similar to the main character controls. Oh, okay. So that's how we get up. There it is. Well, that was interesting. And I think that's all for this area. I'll lift this spot up. I think this is a good as place as any to stop. If you guys watched this far, thank you for your support. I will see you guys in episode two. Thanks again.